Hello guys, welcome to Academicus. Today is the second lecture on your design of isolated RCC footing as per ACI 31805. So in this lecture, previous lecture, I was uh, I have explained the design of RCC footing, isolated footing, square isolated footing. This lecture, I'll be talking about a rectangular footing. So the, the there is a very small difference between your rectangular and your uh, square footing. Uh, so we'll be just focusing on uh, those uh, differences between your uh, rectangular and your square footing. Uh, I won't be going in deep into the problem. All calculation I'll be just going through, and the 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 point where there is a difference between your square and uh, rectangular will be discussing those points. So this this problem is about determine the size and reinforcing of a rectangular spread footing that supports 16 inch square column. The column size is square. It is a 16 inch square column which we have already used, which we have used in your now your square footing founded on a soil rectangular spread footing these uh, these uh, your input details are similar same input details but the loads is little bit different the load is dead load 1.180 k live load 100 k that was in in that case also this was a 200 k and live load was 100 k there is additional a load of this wind load or Axial load due to overturning under wind loading. So this this uh, this W is due to your wind loading. Axial load uh, due to overturning under wind loading. So the allowable bearing pressures, as we have uh, talked in uh, our previous lecture, there was allowable bearing pressure for your dead load, dead plus life. Here there will be one. There will be a one more allowable bearing allowable bearing pressure which is your dead plus life plus wind so in these four we just need to consider we have to calculate for these so your strength will be also your required strength will also be three considering all these three loads so we are designing a rectangular footing we have to just keep in mind this basic thing the aspect ratio between your longer size longer side that is that is your longer span your shorter span upon your longer span should be 0.6 the aspect ratio should be point less than or equal to 0.6 it six it should not be greater than 0.6 so next just this is the shear plane one way shear plane and two way shear plane uh, the the size of the foundation that has been calculated in the later stages is around is by 10 5 feet by 10 feet so let's let's look into the problem we will just see calculate those values so this is your this is your size of the footing which we will be calculating in the later steps uh, later steps 5 feet by 10 feet this is your critical section for two-way shear plane. This is your critical plane for bending moment. The bending moment should be calculated <coughs> from the face of the your column. This is the critical plane for bending moment in short direction, in this long direction. So for a short direction, the, the, the length will be your longer span. For long direction, the short length will be bending moment length will be the shorter span. Same procedure, the sizing of the footing, D, D by A, D plus L by B, D plus L. This is the additional step. So among these three, three equations, we have this 47.6 SQFT, which is the controlling value. So we are using, we are using 5 feet by 10 feet. That is, therefore, area, the area provided is 50 square feet, which is greater than 47. So hence, we, we need, we just, we just have qualified with this dimensions. Same required strength U in previous case, considered the, this clause. In previous video, we have just U1, 1.4 D u2 1.2 d plus 1.6 l in this case this addition additional 1.6 l this equation is additional so in these in in these three cases these three load combinations the 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 maximum strength required should be the controlling value this so the, this wind dead and life this is the maximum strength required 
so next we will be talking about the required strength this is also a another case where your only dead load and wind load so this 9.2 clause 9.2 will give you these loading combinations so among all these four loading loading combinations will be considering the maximum value maximum strength required that controls the design so same for design of shear will be just going for with the same equations uh, that uh, that 9.3.23 the phi that is uh, your uh, partial uh, so partial uh, this 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 coefficient of your shear 0.75 we are assuming we are not designing for shear reinforcement so we are assuming we are we have no shear reinforcement requirement so we'll be just playing with the thickness of your foundations same we are just trying this d this d we are just trying with 23 inches then your h your thickness is 27 inches again we will be just calculating the this uh, your this uh, your two way shear two way shear area uh, perimeter so for two way shear perimeter we are just calculating the two way shear perimeter then thickness of your foundation 27 inches your d this d is 23 23 inches so these parameters we have just assumed this d this this 27 inches if this this is failing in shear then we have to revise these values so same equations we have the, these three equations we see this one this one 6 fcd then will be 7.9 fcd then next 4 fcd so among uh, this least value will be least the, the equation which will be giving least resistant shear resistance that will control the design because the least we need to check while designing we need to just check the most severe conditions so the the design shear stress coming the required the, the, the allowable shear stress is this much the design shear stress we are designing this much so this is greater than 402 so we we are safe in two-way action this is the clause you can refer 11.12.2.1 c same for one-way actions we have similarly we have performed in your in our uh, uh, square column same equations same formula same check so this your 5 vc should be greater than v u so in this this case 5 vc is 133.7 k and 5 and v u is 121.2 k we are doing this uh, this uh, check only in one directions because the one way action in the long direction is not a problem because the footing edge is located within the critical section for one way shear so if if that footing footing if that footing edge is located uh, away from that critical section then we need to confirm that that one way action in the long direction as well so in this case we don't need to to calculate along the long direction so so the, uh, in one way action and a two way action action uh, footing is safe that means we don't need to revise the thickness so if this is failing in any of these conditions we just need to go back in this step we just need to revise these values so once these values are revised we will just re recheck these equations recheck recalculate these values and check and then if this okay then we will proceed further otherwise we need to keep on doing this iteration of revising again and again until our design is safe in share so and next is your bearing check as a told for this this uh, this, uh, this coefficient for your bearing similarly it is 0.65 for bearing your it was uh, 0.75 for your shear this a1 by a2 is your area of smaller area and larger area ratio so for bearing resistance we have this formula we have used in a square footing equation also the least bearing uh, allowable bearing capacity was 4 ks F, which is 400 k this is the least so we have to check for the least 
we have to check for the least so the bearing capacity the bearing capacity of the uh, footing is 1131k and it is more than your allowable this is your design bearing capacity and this is your allowable so this is safe in bearing same with your moment 15.4.2 this this clause suggests that your moment should be from the face of your column so using that condition the moment the the, cal, the calculated the design moment is for 47 479 feet k so 5kn similarly will be calculating 5kn so for 5kn we are getting 173.5 5 psi for 173.5 psi rho that is percentage of steel is 0.335 percent so a s is rho b d 0 0.33 0 0.003 this is divided by this divided by 100 that's why this is 0 0.0335 percent so which is coming around 4.72 inches we also need to check the minimum criteria of steel that is it should be 0 0.0018 bh b is, is width of the footing and h is your h is your thickness of the footing so for short direction we are considering 5 inches by the area 5 inches 12 and this thickness this is bh 5 feet feet we are converting into inches 5 into 12 we have the footing size 5 into 10 so we are designing along short direction 5 into 12 into 27 which is coming around 2.92 inches so we as per moment the area required is 4.72 inches square so we are we are using the the the, the worst condition we have to provide 4.72 inches square which is okay so this number of bars in each directions you just you just take care this value this area of steel so that area of steel as per availability of the reinforcement a size of the reinforcement and the section used in that particular region you just you just calculate the number of bar in each direction and just provide whichever like if we are using indian standard or any other standard we are just you are using 12 mm dia bar 16 mm dia bar or 10 sometimes 10 mm dia bar also sometimes 20 mm dia bar also so that as per that dia we need to just satisfy the that the the number of the the, the total area ast provided should be greater than this not less than this it should be greater or equal to we also have to check this Silent T, which is equals to 0 0.041, you just refer this clause that should be greater than 0 0 0.005 for tension control section. Phi is 0.9. So same a development check. We are we are getting development length 29 inches, but we are providing 33 inches. That is okay, and hence a design is safe in shear, safe in uh, safe in reinforcement for your shorter directions for longer direction we'll be just uh, calculating the moment for longer direction that was your shorter uh, direction now we will be just calculating the longer direction longer direction we have 10 feet so the moment for longer direction same k k 5 k n for longer direction percentage this minimum percentage criteria so in this case your minimum percentage is governing that is 5.83 inches we are required for your as minimum because your your size is 10 feet 10 into 12 so which is coming around 5.83 so in this case your moment the ast required as per your moment is not governing the minimum ast is governing as minimum is governing so we'll be providing this much reinforcement along your longer span that is your span which is along your 10 feet direction so calculate moment in short direction at the column of face so same this this uh, this reinforcement we have one more uh, criteria for reinforcement in central 5 meter band by total reinforcement so this this you don't need to just uh, you just uh, go through this this is the reinforcement provided this much step this step should be clear we are providing longer 
reinforcement in longer direction and shorter direction so in the sh uh, shorter direction the minimum reinforcement which was uh, governing the the uh, was your reinforcement required as per your moment and in the longer span the minimum reinforcement that is 0 0.0018 times bh that that was your governing so accordingly we have just provided that reinforcement similarly a development length for your longer directions for longer direction and shorter direction you need to check for development length in both the direction so in the longer directions we are getting we are we required 25 inches we are providing 49 inches so this is your reinforcement development length so you just keep this development length so once once you have calculated the reinforcement in your longer span and shorter span you have that area so as per that area you can provide as per that required area you can provide the reinforcement as per the number the size of bars available in your region you can play with the size of bar but the area provided should be greater than the area required based on your minimum ace ace minimum criteria and your moment criteria so this was regarding your design of rectangular isolated of footing so in case you have any doubt these are the very basic these are very basic design problems in future we will be coming up with more complex problems once we keep on proceeding further we'll be coming up with more complex problems these simple problems are just to under make you understand what is your foundation design and how this foundation things work so once you are familiar with the basic design of foundations basic design of column beam footings everything then we will proceed with the uh, the the daily practicing these are also daily practiced but in daily life you come across many types of foundation many type of structures those are some some sometimes it is beyond your conventional methods so you need to improvise your design you need to uh, you need to come with new ideas so those new new things we will be definitely coming up with the as we go further so please subscribe to our channel if you have any queries you can ask your queries through our comments we will we will definitely we will be definitely clarifying your doubts and please subscribe our channel and please share our, our videos if you have liked it please do subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day take care goodbye